What's up, Coach Brian? Uh, this is Brian again. Uh, are there any other setting tendencies that we can take advantage of other than a setter who bounces it around? Well, howdy, Brent Asuka. Uh, thank you for asking me about setter tendencies. Now, that's an important one because regardless of level, from club to the professional international level, I'm on a new level. Uh, setters are, are very, they make the same decisions based upon where they are on the court. Because humans are a creature of habit. I don't know why I was saying that, but they are a creature. We are creatures of habit. Well, I run six plays, split beers like Novocaine. Just give it time, always works. The first way that I want to talk about in terms of um, setters not changing their behavior um, and humans being a creature of habit uh, are to, to watch where they are on the court. Are they, which half of the court are they on? A lot of times um, setters will set the short way. So whatever is the easiest set. Uh, so pay attention and look for that. Um, we call that a, a her half or a his half setter. Have to. My, 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 my what? what are you, the have to. Are you, are you speaking English? Another thing to look for in terms of setters uh, not changing their behavior um, is to look at their relationship in terms of are they close to the net or are they off the net. Uh, a lot of times setters will make the same set in those scenarios. So definitely something to pay attention to. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, that's my last video of how human beings never change and we're creatures of habit. I know this kid's move. Triple deke, glove side. Anticipate it and you got it. What if he goes stick side? He's fancy, he'll go glove. And I can't wait to hear what the next one is. Brantha Suga, goodbye.